the face of Detroit politics for two decades. Tonight, Detroit is honoring the late Coleman Young and his contributions to the city. CW50's April Morton has more. The city building downtown bears his name, but if some local lawmakers have their way, a statue of the former mayor, Coleman A. Young, will be placed in the nation's capital. He made history as the first black mayor of Detroit. Now Michigan's state rep Adam Ollier, along with his son Coleman Young II, hoping the legacy of the former late mayor will live on in Washington, D.C. Every state has the opportunity to send two statues to the National Statuary Hall. Uh, that decision is made, one, by the Republicans choose their person, the Democrats choose our person. And all 16 Democrats, which is every Democrat in the state of, state of Michigan, uh, state Senate, has opted in to agree on, on Mayor Coleman Young. Ollier says currently there is a statue of former U.S. Senator Louis Cass, who represented Michigan in the 1800s. He says Cass, who is known to have owned slaves, should not represent the state and instead have his statue replaced with one of Young. All the folks who you see moving the levers of power today in the black community do so because Coleman Young decided that there had to be space at the table. Nobody was a more effective spokesperson who said, we are going to be heard, we are going to be respected, we are going to be listened to. Young also played a major role in the automotive industry. The General Motors Pole Town plant uh, was just another example of how strong and committed he was to the UAW, to Michigan, and to Detroit being the auto capital of the world. And that same factory that he built is now the foundation for where we're going in electric vehicles. The process of getting the statue has now gone through legislation in Lansing. The lawmakers say it shouldn't take too long to get approved. Young's family hoping his 20 year dedication to the city will forever be memorialized on a national stage. I love you. I will never forget you. And may Coleman Young's legacy last for eternity. In Detroit, April Morton, CW 50 News at 10.